In the Pacific Northwest, they've been dealing with a ton of rainfall. In fact, almost record-breaking rainfall. Now, this is all coming from an atmospheric river, which, I mean, we're familiar with rivers, but do they behave the same way? I wanted to break down what an atmospheric river is and just how it impacts the surface of the Earth down below it. Many of us have heard at least once or twice of how the upper level winds drag in weather systems to a certain area while they also bring in moisture and that's kind of what's happening in this case. You can see the upper atmosphere winds are traveling almost directly on top of the Pacific Northwest and when we take a look at where the moisture is at in the atmosphere it's also almost on top of the Pacific Northwest. You can see that the winds are dragging the moisture off the western coast of the United States inland almost all over the Pacific Northwest. This has brought significant rainfall to the area in the last few days, nearly six and a half inches of it since the new year started. Flooding concerns are rising as this atmospheric river doesn't appear to move out of the region for the next few days at least. This upper atmospheric pattern of when winds bring loads of moisture to a region has been dubbed the creation of an atmospheric river. So basically it's just a lot of moisture up in the atmosphere. To put the size and magnitude of this atmospheric river into a scope we can understand, right now I'm standing by the Missouri River, which roughly runs about 2,300 miles. Now the atmospheric river that's impacting Pacific Northwest regions of the United States is about 2,700 miles long, which is a pretty hefty size for an atmospheric river. Reporting for the Insider at 6, I'm Storm Track forecaster Maddie Est.